This is called a ginger bug, which is the equivalent of a sourdough starter, but for ginger beer. And I'm gonna make one. I'm using 500 grams of water, 150 grams of ginger, and 150 grams of sugar. I prep the ginger by chopping it up in a food processor, skin and all. We need to keep the skin on because the skin has the wild yeast that we're gonna need. Try to use organic ginger for this. In a jar, I added all of the 500 milliliters of water, then one to two tablespoons of sugar and one to two tablespoons of ginger. Mix that up, loosely cover, then set aside in a dark cupboard overnight. The rest of the ginger I kept in the fridge to keep it fresh. The next day, I'll add another tablespoon of sugar and ginger, mix it up and set it aside again. I did this every day for about five days until I started to notice some activity in the form of gas production. Once I saw this, I did one last top up, left it overnight and it was ready to make ginger beer out of, which will be in the next video, so make sure you're following to keep up. Last week I made this ginger bug, which is a natural starter for ginger beer, sort of like how sourdough bread has a sourdough starter. Well today, let's make ginger beer with it. My go-to recipe ratio for this ginger beer is 100 grams of ginger and 100 grams of sugar per liter of water. I'll blend the ginger in the water, then add it to a pot and add the sugar, then bring it up to a boil to dissolve the sugar. You can also add some spice and flavor here too. I added cinnamon, cayenne, clove, and star anise. Let that simmer for 10 to 15 minutes, then I'll take it off the heat, put the lid on, and let it cool down to room temperature. Once cool, I'll strain it out, then add our ginger bug liquid. Now, depending on how active your ginger bug is, you can add more or less but I like to add quite a bit to give it the best chance of fermenting. I'm using pressure safe bowls, leaving a little bit of headroom at the top of the bowl for gas. Close them off and I let mine sit at room temperature for about a week before moving to the fridge. You can wait longer or shorter depending on how carbonated you like. Making the bowls as cold as possible before opening will help prevent it foaming over, but always be careful when handling bottles under pressure. Crack a ginger beer open and enjoy a naturally probiotic ginger beer.